you can achieve exactly the same results in a couple of minutes. I've broken the tutorial in two parts. In the first one, I show how to create your first project. It takes about three minutes. The rest are useful tips and some performance stats. In the second part, I'm going to show how to customize it. Let's start by creating a composition for this image. Drop it onto the comp icon. All images need to be on a transparent background, like this one. Now, we need the text layer. Right click, New, Text, and some letters, X slash and minus. You can change the font size, choose a different font family, and a different color. By the way, the text layer needs to be above the image. Now we need a marker for the auto animation. I'm going to move the current time indicator to 5 seconds, deselect all layers, then go to Layer, Marker, and Add Markers. So this is where the auto animation is going to start. Make sure that shape is checked and click Generate. The image is opened in a new window. But we have only the last letter, the minus. This is because the image has just one value, white. I'm going to apply the inner shadow to add more values. Right click, Layer Styles, and Inner Shadow. Expand this, change the size, the distance, and the angle. I don't have to use pure black or pure white. It works the same if it's like this or like this. Because the script is using the darkest and the lightest value from the image itself. Generate again. Each time you generate a project, all the assets are organized in a folder. Expand. We have the main comp, which is this one. And the symbols comp with the letters that I set up earlier. Now, let's replace these letters with shapes. Notice that letters change at each marker. I'm gonna cut ahead. Now I have three simple circles. It's important for the layers to match exactly with the markers. Go back to the main comp and we have the letters replaced with the circles. You can see beforehand how the letters are going to be placed. Apply the black and white and posterize effect. Then match the level number with the number of letters. In this case, three letters. It starts from left with A, placing it on the darkest parts of the image, then B and C. So it's using the letters from left to right, placing them from dark to light. Also, you can apply the curves effect before black and white and play with the contrast to influence the placement. Images with high contrast will give you the best results. Background color matters. Here is the same image with the same letters on a light and dark background. On the dark background it looks kind of weird because it's inverted. You can fix it by using the same letters but in reverse order. Fewer letters work better. Same image with 4 and 11 letters. The performance is influenced by the size of the letters and the size of the image. Here is an example with 7899 letters generated in 6 minutes and 27 seconds. And here is another example with 2,947 letters and was generated in 1 minute and 19 seconds. The time may vary depending on your system. Now, let me show you where I got those numbers. Each time you generate a project, over here, it's gonna show you how long it took. Minutes and seconds. If you hold the mouse over, it's gonna show the time for all the projects. So we have the time and the number of letters. There are a couple of ways to improve the speed. First, while the script is working, minimize After Effects and leave it in the background. Or you can just press Caps Lock and get the same results. Second, less stuff you have in the project panel, the faster it will go. Now, when it comes to rendering, it's quite fast. I have here the previous example with 7899 letters and it took about 5 minutes to render. The animation is about 12 seconds. 
Again, this may vary. That's it for the first part. In the next video, we'll see how to customize it using the UI.